make your Tamiya Grasshopper a little bit more modern by installing these body post mounts that let you use some modern body mount clips. I'll show you how in a second. Guys, welcome to Jacobus RC where we buy, bash, and build use RC cars like this little buggy right here. For today's RC tips and tricks video, we're gonna keep it to Mia Grasshopper related. Now I've been building this little guy right here for a good little while now and I've learned some things along the way and hopefully you guys can learn some things along the way too if you decide to buy your own to Mia Grasshopper. So while building this thing, I wanted to make my buggy a little bit more modern, a little bit easier to work on you know, having to unscrew the screws every time you want to take the body off became a little bit of a hassle. Luckily for me, I found these body post mounts online and I'm going to show you guys how I got these fitted and how it turned out in the end. Now, as you guys already saw, I already took the pieces out and mounted them to my grasshopper. But for the purpose of this video, I replaced them back in the bag so you guys can see how the pieces came. Now here in the front, Here's the part number and the description. So these are hex screw mounts uh, from, it looks like genuine Tamiya RC parts. I'm not sure if there's a lot of these pieces out there available, but I found these on eBay. So have a look around and see if you guys want the same piece as well. Now these mounts aren't plug and play. You're gonna have to Dremel out or scrape out a little bit of the plastic inside where the screws previously were housed. You're basically making the opening a little bit wider so the screw post can fit through and you can clip the body clips over the top. Here I'm quickly showing you how much I had to take off from the inside of its original screw housing. When you dremel it out, just be sure to not cut off anything from the body supports right here. Now, the new body post mount screw in easily into place to where you would originally screw the body on. Once you've dremeled out the larger holes and have the post screwed in, you're good to go. You can now clip on some clips and everything should be looking just like this. As a quick final tip, make sure you adjust the clip opening so they run along the body nicely. That way you can actually squeeze them through instead of them hitting against the body. So there you guys have it, the finished product right here. I'm excited to how this thing turned out. It looks great, it looks modern. If you guys want to stick around for more tips and tricks, then stay tuned for the next playlist up ahead. And if you want to continue watching the build on this thing, then check the links in the description and stay tuned for more.